Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray, brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray as we talk outdoors every Saturday. Uh, And again, we are glad to not only be part of the uh, Intercom Radio family here in Memphis, but today we can salute... uh, the addition of uh, Brownsville Radio coming out. I'm really tickled to death to do that uh, on 95.3 uh, up in Brownsville. And then, of course, we're switching over also to News Talk 101.5 out of Jackson this morning. So uh, we have expanded our audience from Memphis. Uh, I know we go to Jonesboro, Grenada, uh, Little Rock just about, and now we're all over West Tennessee. And, it's everywhere. It's and, everywhere. And, and then that voice that you heard... Uh, <laughs> That that's scary. Okay, uh, we're saluting uh, on this show today. Uh, uh, I would oh. say one of my best friends. I've uh, I forgot. Known, I've known Dave Gabbert for a long time, and uh, he is retiring from the TWRA after three thirty four <coughs> and a half. Yeah, I said three and a half years. Thirty four and a half years, which is almost the same thing that I had at the Commercial Appeal. Mm. But today is a uh, salute to Dave David oh. Gabbert. Uh, it's Gabbard. And you what, always put what, a T on the end. What's uh, Gabbard? Gabbard. Gabbard. They in Kentucky say they, they say Gabbard. What, Gabbard? Yeah. What's your middle name? Glenn. I thought it was Glenn. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, your daddy was named Glenn. Mm-hmm. Okay, Mr. Glenn. All right. Well, Glenn Gabbard <laughs> is on with us. And we got two guys on right now that uh, I know can tell some stories about this guy, uh, longtime friends. Uh, uh, I think one of them might have made a hole in one one time when you were playing with him. But, oh, okay, uh, yeah. I, I've heard about that for about six months from him, but uh, we are <laughs> glad to have uh, Tim Broadbent on. Good morning, Tim. Good morning. How's everything? Well, we got mm-hmm. Gabbert, and we're slowing him down here. But this, uh, hey, I, uh, I heard Gabbert say he's he's uh, worked thirty four years, but you said three and a half. Well, that's actually, actually he's only worked three and a half. That's he's been right. with over thirty-four years. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I know the next guy on can vi- probably vouch for that because, uh, again, another one of Dave's uh, uh, good friends uh, who's also retired. Tim, one day you'll get to do this, you know. So, but uh, uh, then you'll be able to retire to the, you know, the pool and the castle and everything else that goes with it. But that's our good friend Dave Rizzuto. Good morning, Dave. Good morning. Well, I tell you, I've been. I heard about a probation officer, and I said, "Well, either Gabby's had a real late night or a real early morning." <laughs> then I remember that the feds are doing an audit this week, and they probably have finally caught up with him with the time situation. Uh oh. Uh, right he now says he's worked thirty-four and a half years, but like Tim said, he owes them about thirty-one of those years back. Uh, we do have a ten-second button on here. He yeah, said no. uh, to, to utilize it. But you guys, let's let's talk with Tim. I know, Tim, uh, your time. How many years you got with the TWRA? Well, I have 31 years. 31 years. I worked 31 years. You worked 31 <laughs> years, but yeah. uh, as a fisheries biologist for uh, out of Region 1, uh, tell us about this uh, this uh, Mr. Gabbard here. I mean, the only guy I know that does not have, you know, he uh, plays golf with uh, no irons. He's got about 14 <laughs> woods, you know, but... Uh, uh, tell us from uh, your perspective uh, about Dave, Tim. Well, you know, Dave and I, we've we've been on many golf courses, and the one thing I enjoy about Dave is when he comes in the office, he'll come in in my office, and he'll sit down and talk. He'll talk about playing golf. <laughs> Heck with work. <laughs> you know, we don't have to worry about that. And I get to I get to live his golf dreams through through him. And but you know us biologists, we don't get to play golf or anything like that. We're you're fishing we're all the time. Much, That's all you we're guys. All the time. Don't, yeah, I hear yeah. that, Rosudo. What Tim's saying. All that water quality at Pickwick. I know. <laughs> fisheries fisheries biologists don't fish. Trust me. Okay. Okay. Well, I've, I I know that. But uh, how about you, Dave? I know you. Uh, you've got some stories on the uh, on the other Dave here that. Uh, is there any of them we can use on the air? I mean, cause, yeah, uh, there, yeah. There, you know, everybody has seen Caddyshack, and yes. and and you know, there's spots in there where you know the the preacher and the the real estate mogul and the guys in charge of the club are playing, and you know, the, yeah. and 
you know, the guy will take about 10 shots, and the preacher says, put me down for four. <laughs> and, and, you know, playing golf with Dave in his early years of playing, he's probably beat me now, but in his early years of playing, Dave will have lost three balls and get to the get get to the green and putt out and say, uh, that's five. <laughs> <laughs> he's agreeing with you, yeah. you know, that's uh... and, and Tim and I were thinking – I wonder if he's counting how many lost balls. Well, that's what I was giving. I was, that's what I was giving you my ball count. Yeah, he was. <laughs> I can't help you if you put it down on the scorecard. No, no, and he's he's got that, uh, you know, that compact swing he's got. But uh, when he pulls out that thirteen wood or whatever it might 15. be, fifteen, yeah. the fifteen wood, but. Uh, I know you guys. Well, the way that my knees are doing now, he's probably going to have to show me that upper body swing because I don't know that, <laughs> oh, that I'll ever be able to complain to turn anymore. Oh, so. uh, well, that's too much time but around the pool. I plan, on, I plan on playing a lot of golf with Dave once he retires and smoking a lot of cigars around my pool deck when he starts to come over this way after he doesn't have much to do and nobody's calling him like they don't call you once you retire. <laughs> no, Yeah, they don't and everything. But uh, from you guys – I know uh, he he's the person that has to kind of spread the news when you have an event or something that you want to get across to the public. And I think that Dave uh, has that uh, gift, I call it, of uh, not just gab, but uh, he wants the public to know things. Uh, Dave does not hide himself, does he, uh, does he uh, Rizzuto? No. Uh, you know, one thing that I will give Dave credit for is, is I, number one, I've never had a problem with him getting the word out on any projects that we were working on together. Um, but Dave is the type that he does not mind helping anybody do anything. But for the most part, I'm not going to do it for you. And he has held a lot of a lot of people to the fire over the last 20 years of doing this job yeah. um, oh, of making them do it and learn it on them, their own. And there's probably a few people that will be put in for his position that because Dave did that, uh, will be better <laughs> better suited to uh, well, sure, yeah, uh, move into a position like that if they so wish. And and uh, you know when you get up into the into the fifties range and they're saying you got to retire by fifty five or sixty, sometimes people like a a change of direction or or mm-hmm. they just can't get out there and do it anymore. And and you know that's one avenue that that they can take. And and guys like the support staff like like. I and E is to us, and and a lot of the the staff, yeah. biologists and stuff are considered sometimes. Um, you know, we're we're out there. Uh, we're trying to support the other factions of the uh, of the agency that are, that are out in the field more. And and um, well, you get you guys are on the water, the thing yeah, to, you're, uh, to, you're, to get things done. You're on the water, uh, and like you, you you laughed about, most people think that uh, all you do is fish. And I know, Tim, uh, uh, there are complicated situations out there, and, and Dave has been one of those guys that have been helped. I know he's helped me understand things that I couldn't understand from a biological uh, asset, and, and I think that's one of his gifts. Now, talk about that, Tim, because uh, Dave doesn't just talk hunting or whatever it might be but he also the fishing the rodeos we've talked about but also events to help kids absolutely dave has been instrumental in getting the word out about sauger about crop yeah. about bass about everything that goes on okay you know we have more reservoirs than kentucky reservoir but to a lot of people kentucky reservoir is it yeah and of course dave lives right there in lexington and he's familiar with the lake was an officer over there and he he knows he knows the territory. He knows how to to work the people and let them know what avenues to present information. It makes our job so much easier because there's so many rumors out there. And Dave he presents the facts, <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and he yeah. He, and, he, what? And, and we're, well, I, working with Tim, I remember we was doing a public meeting one time. Oh, and that's comes. What, and you know you have to know your audience and I, and fisheries biologists they love to use the term recruitment. Yes. I, I said, Tim, don't use that. They think you're inducting somebody in the service. They don't know what recruitment is. You know? <laughs> Break it down into something they can understand. Well, and, uh, yeah, I did learn a lot from Dave about how to do presentations to people. Because, <laughs> you know, we do. We talk in biological terms, and Dave made us break it down, and that was something I really learned from him. Well, you can learn from him. Hey, guys, we appreciate uh, I'm going to ask each one of you before we go, if you had one word to describe Dave Gabbert. 
Uh, what would that word be, uh, Rizzuto? He's Steady. thinking. Steady. 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 I like that. <laughs> okay, how about Tim? Uh, conscientious. Conscientious. He yes, is. Hey, hey the yes, word duffer didn't come up. The duffer didn't come up. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can, we'll make sure uh, that's. I knew Larry had it on a, I knew Larry had it on a relay because I couldn't say what I really wanted. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, that 10, I'm getting ready to hit that 10 second button Beep. to see what was going to happen up there. Hey, guys, thank you. I appreciate you guys' friendship and uh, outdoors with Larry Ray. Uh, you know how much Dave means to me, and uh, we've tried to spread the word the TWRA word out of this radio show for a long time. And uh, Gabbard's been the voice and the minister of propaganda. I don't know who who gave him that title. I took, well, that's a, kind of a story in itself. Well, we'll try to get that later. Yeah, then, okay. uh, when, when the button, a, getting yeah. ready to hit the button maybe. Yeah. So, uh, all right, let's take a break. Thank you, guys. We'll talk to y'all. Okay? Yeah. All right, let's take a break. Be right back on Outdoors with Larry Ray. 